All right, for the next step, we've got our cover. Inside needs some work. So what I'm gonna do, I found this lovely piece of, uh, what's it, watercolor paper. You can use a poster, you can use calendar pages, you can use some of the picture, you can use uh, any paper with a pattern, you can use another piece of fabric. I'm gonna use this, it's nice and stiff. Um, so it has some rigidity to it. So what I'm gonna do is, it doesn't need to be cut down to size. So I'm gonna cut two pieces to fit here. And here, I'm also going to take another little strip of that fabric, ugh, 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 not that fabric, and we'll go on this side of the, uh, the spine, cover up that old cover. I don't need to see that. Plus, the paper's not going to go over that, and it'll give a little more strength to that. So, that's what I'm going to do cut a piece for here, cut those down, and then glue them on. That's what this clip is going to be. So. Again, speed up, fast forward, skip ahead, go on to the next, go on to the next one. Do what you gotta do. Access what you gotta access. You wanna watch this? Cool. Who knows what I'm gonna say or do? I don't. This is unscripted. It is just. This is like a guy in an art room doing stuff by himself. On a Wednesday at 3.20 p.m. What do you do for fun? Uh, got my canvas now. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Me, I'm the idiot. Cool. Good lord. Oh, I got my uh, new cap on here. My new, my new cap, no cap. So this is easier. I also know that I will be putting holes, needle and thread through the spine. So through the middle of this piece. So I know that if it's, the, if it's somewhat rigid, yet a little flexible, that's gonna be good. So the glue will also help stiffen up the canvas and make the puncturing, making the holes and the threading of the needle a little, a little, make that process a little easier. And what's going to happen in this middle area? I'm just going to add a little more glue in that middle area to make sure that that's correct. Can you see that? Okay. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the spine, and you put it over here, and you center it up, and then you smear it in whoop, into the middle, into all the nooks and crannies like a Thomas's English muffin. Yes, the nooks and crannies muffin. Yes, with the butter and all in there. Mmm, it's very good for that toasted. <laughs> uh, I wish I had my old late night talk show with Craig Ferguson. Who knows what happened to him? Ooh. And it appears up, we need a little more. Fingers. So that is that, is that, is that? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. We are making progress now. We are cooking for gas. Well, I will take this. It has a nice factory, the factory edge. So we take it and lay it out here and make a mark. I think, I think there. Mm -hmm. 
und den Mecker-Markt. Sehr. So, now we have Max. We have the Max, not the Deutsche Mark or the Karl Marx, but we have a Cancel Mark. And we have a Mm. Seven. And so now we go seven and a half, seven and one half. There. And we take our cutting blade. Yeah. And line up the ruler. I don't know why I'm German, doing German accent. But it is fine, right? Yeah, I think I'm an English man. I can't deny it. Und wann und five eighths inches. Was ist das in Zentimeters? Das ist nicht. Ah. Anyway, we measure. I'm measuring, making sure it's square, parallel, cutting off the excess. Checking it against the actual piece. Looks pretty good, yeah? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, how about that, huh? Oh, it's a sword and good. It's looking good. Oh, so good, so good. Close that back up, that's the way. And now we have this one. I'm just going to line this one up against the new one. It's a nice thick piece of paper. So I can use the one. as the stencil for the other. It is very efficient that way. And we know that they are symmetrical. And I didn't even have to bury lots of centimeters. I know what you're thinking, what is he talking about? Well, look, I can't play background music. YouTube's gonna like flag it for copyright infringement because I was listening to some bomb music and like people made it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Like, I don't know how to edit the videos. Come on. Can I get some training, please? Nah. So we do what we do. You know? So there you go. There are those. And now. Now we must be precise and patient. I want this. Uh, I want this glue to be pretty close to the edge. I don't really want it to come out a lot. I don't want to see it, even though it will dry clear. So I do want to be pretty precise about where I put it. To sit down, so that should be good. And I want the center to sit down. Oh. I hope you heard that because that is horrible. School's out. Oh. It's so loud and so aggressive and so unpleasant and it's just so long. There's no warning, there's no ramp up to it. There's no like, Wah! there's no like coming down from it. There's no like, Wah! it's not a bell. It'd be really nice if it was like a ding and just kind of resonated for a while and then just quietly faded off. 
That would be nice. Can we have that, please? God, that's so aggressive and awful. So we've got some glue kind of around the middle. And as soon as you start laying it down, it starts to dry. You react with the oxygen and oxidize, you know, evaporate and all that stuff. Science. So I'm gonna get down relatively quickly. And I'm rubbing with down pressure, some force. Careful of the edges, let's not get paper cuts, etc. Let me take this and uh, we'll do a little, little weight. I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to put some weight on it and let it sit. So as the glue cures, it should stay flat. Get that. Point, we lay it out. I think this is the factory edge. So I'm going to put the factory edge up to the outside because that is what we see. Point, what I cut may not be as precise. Point, I want it to be nice and precise as best I can. But I'm not going to sort the small stuff. Hashtag, don't sort the small stuff. Hashtag small potatoes. But it's also the little things you do. Hashtag the little things you do. Hashtag things quick. Okay, we'll got these down. That will protect the cover. I'll get some books. Oh, wait. Oh, how's that? 
So we got that cover, uh, got the fabric on it. I've got uh, what I do, I've got the fabric wrapped on it. I've got the interior cover, I've got the canvas over the spine from the inside and the outside. And I've got some watercolor paper on the inside. So that's a nice fine cover. And covers, covers done. Um, yeah, the next step is going to be getting those um, signatures in, getting that paper in, stitching it. So that's next, but uh, this might be all. This might be all for today. We'll see.